title of this game is called Guess Louie. In it, you'll try to guess words or phrases that Louie is thinking about in each round. Now, this game is basically very similar to the pyramid game that you may recognize with the pyramid game with Donny Osmond, where contestants sit with their backs to a screen while other um, members of their same team try to give them words or phrases that might help them guess the words that are behind them without actually saying those exact words. Each round is timed so you're going to have to be able to guess fast. The way I recommend this be done is that teachers divide their class up into teams, have each team then come up when it's their turn. Half the team will sit with their back to the TV or the projection screen while the other half of that team faces the screen. When the words appear, the team that's facing the heart half the team that's facing the screen tries to give them those words to get them to say what's coming up on the screen. As we uh, look at our first screen here, basically we see the different rounds here. Now what's happened before this is the teacher or trainer has gone in and actually typed in what the words or phrases will be for each one of these rounds. So for example, I'm going to click on round one and I've already gone in here and typed in the word cartoons. Now this is where you see here I would actually delete this text and place the word cartoons down here too. So I'm going to click start. And you see the first word appear here is Snoopy. Now the half of the team that's facing the screen now starts trying to say all the different words like a beagle, friend is Charlie Brown, all these kind of things. Once they get it, the teacher can click the button for got it. Then they click the next one for view it. Now what I normally do is go ahead and get ready and put my mouse over view so that when they say it, I can click view for the next one and then I click go back and I click got it. You'll notice there's a timer ticking down up here. And that tells us that that team is now out of time and they have gotten exactly 50 points. So I'm going to click up here in the left and click back to board. When we go back to board, team one will now have 50 points. We will simply continue this process um, going through each team getting a chance. You can have up to eight teams. There are 16 rounds, so each team could theoretically get two, different, two rounds each. And after they have gone through all the way or you've run out of questions, um, then you can uh, stop the game at that point. So I'm going to walk you through now how to edit this game called Guess Louie. Basically what we're going to do is go down here and before the game actually is played or started, we're going to come to the first slide that says round one down here, which is slide number five. And we're simply going to click in there and where it says delete this text, we're going to place the, what we're going to be trying to study. This could be our vocabulary words, so we would put something like vocabulary unit one. I'm going to put the word cartoons like our example. And then we're going to simply scroll down to the next slide. On the next slide, which is slide six, this is where the words actually go. So we simply click where it says word one or words one here. And I'm going to put Snoopy in here. And then I'm going to put, let's say, Charlie Brown here. You continue like this until you've got all your words or phrases. I would continue on into round two. And I might continue to type vocabulary. unit one and I might continue that and here would be more vocabulary words that they needed to practice on and then in round three as I keep clicking down over here on the left on slide nine round three could again be vocabulary unit one and we simply keep clicking all of these until we get uh, we simply keep using all these until we get all the vocabulary words or all the questions that we want answered on there at the first screen, everything links up fine for you here. You'll notice you have 16 rounds. If you don't need 16 rounds, because that's an awful lot, just don't put anything in those last couple of rounds. If you want to, you can actually delete these by just clicking on them and then hitting delete, and they'll disappear so you don't even click on them. But um, in any case, you can just know that when you go to round 8 or 10, there's not going to be anything there, and that will also work for you. To begin the game using Office 2007, go to the Slideshow tab and click one time. After clicking on the Slideshow tab, click the From Beginning button on the far left. This will begin the game. 
To start the game in any version of PowerPoint before Office 2007, go to the Slideshow menu and choose View Show. This game is designed for whole class participation. Participants are divided into teams or may work as individuals. For best results, use an LCD projector or TV to display the game to participants. If you receive a security alert when beginning this game and you're using Office 2007, simply click the Enable This Content button and then click OK. Please note, if you are using a version of Microsoft Office prior to Office 2003, some of the features in these games may not function properly. It is advised that you do your editing of the PowerPoint slides or games in your older version and then use Microsoft's free PowerPoint viewer for actual game play. To download the free viewer, just do a web search for PowerPoint Player 2007.